Uh, we are still low on firewood, which is unfortunate. Because it means we are starting to... We are starting to run low on firewood, which is not a good thing. It is never a good thing to run out of firewood. Especially since we are still using the wooden houses. Ooh! Ooh! Here we go! Look at this! We have a traitor! We have a traitor. Uh, let me turn down the speed. So I can actually look. So who is this? Who is this? A merchant has arrived. Trading. Lemmet the seed merchant. We have corn seed. Uh, ew. We do not have nearly enough. Even with all our hide coats, we do not have nearly enough to buy these corn seeds. Which is not good. Oh, I don't have enough. But I can put in buy orders for other stuff uh, every visit custom orders from every visit okay and let's get some bean seeds wait do I already have bean? no I have peppers and potatoes so let's get some beans some cabbage some uh, peaches no that's all like uh, orchards and stuff chestnuts, pecans, peppers plum potatoes, wheat seeds, uh, squash, and pumpkin. There we go. Unfortunately, I do not have enough materials to really barter with him, which is not a good thing. I mean, I could put, like, some food or some firewood or herbs or something, but I do not want to really do that right now. Um, I definitely do not want to use tools in this, because I am already uh, fighting against the collection and main maintenance of tools so I don't really want to do that uh, I guess I could start stocking this with like some extra food because I do have 3,000 food normally so yeah um, uh, but yeah this sucks I finally get a merchant and I can't actually do anything because I don't have enough to buy anything oh uh, now well I guess I will just increase the number of hide coats to 200. That way, every time a hide coat's made, at least one of them will actually get into here. Um, what else can I put in there that won't be really, really missed? Uh, I don't really want to put food in there. I really do not want to start getting food put in there, because that's always something dangerous. Because once you start putting food in there and start trading food away, it's easy to forget about it. And you'll just have food stockpiled in here. And then your people will start starving. And you'll have to desperately try and get it out of there. Put it back in the market. And hopefully get it done before everyone starves to death. Which is not something you want to have happen. So, uh, is this done yet? Ah, there we go. Now I can put these guys, boom, 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 into the Forester Lodge. And we should have even more... Ah, oh, there we go. We'll get even more wood coming in. Uh, well, it'll start coming in once they actually start cutting stuff down. But yeah, uh, it kind of sucks. Let me get all that stuff while I'm here. Okay, there we go. But yeah, that really sucks. We finally get a merchant, and we don't have enough to really do anything with him. We can't really trade. But hopefully next time we'll get one of those animal merchants that has like a uh, cows or chickens or something. And then I can start building a farm, a uh, ranch area. Which is something I should probably start thinking about. <gasps> no, not Anning! Anning! Not Anning! Anning the Forester has died of old age. No. Oh, first that, now Anning. No. That sucks. And we don't even have anybody to replace him. Which sucks even more. Yo. I don't want to take anyone off of uh, off the mining thing. I guess I could take someone off the vendor and put them in the Forester. And maybe one miner. Because foresters are just as important as mining. Keeping enough wood coming in is very important right now. I want to make sure I always have enough wood. So, yeah. But that sucks. Anning! I remember Anning. 
from one of the earlier episodes. I don't remember what they were doing. I just remember the name. I recognize that name. And it makes me sad. Oh, all the old guard are dying. All the old guard are dying. Which really sucks. And this freaking traitor sticks around for a fairly long time. It's been, what, six months at least? He came around in winter. And it is now springtime. I mean, it's almost planting season. It is almost planting season, and he's just loitering outside my trading post. What the hell, man? Ah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Ugh. So, what is it we actually need to do now? Well, I guess I should wait for my supply of iron to build up, supply of stone. Definitely need to build, wait for the supply of wood to start building up. Because I do not want to start building anything else until we have more than enough firewood. Because firewood is the major, major problem. Until I can start turning all this stuff into uh, stone houses. Because once I can start upgrading the stone houses, they will need less firewood in the winter. So I won't really have to worry about that. But it does take a lot of iron as well as stone to do it. So, yeah, each one is going to take some time to really do that. Uh, okay, well, at least we got this set up, which is nice. Uh, I guess I could set up another, like, hunting lodge. It would increase the food production as well as the leather. No labor, any, no, same one. So, hunting cabin, I guess I could build another hunting cabin. Which could be good. Right next to the forester. Right about here. Seems good. Boom. Only need some stone and some wood. Should have enough wood. As well as stone. That'll give it a, get us some more leather, at least. Which will help out the tailor. And get us even more coats that we can trade next time. Because if we can get a massive supply of leather coats, we should be able to trade them off. I mean, 60 coats is worth 900. So, if I can get a couple 100, 150 coats, I should be able to buy most things. Which shouldn't be too, which shouldn't be too bad, really. Um, so let's put him... Alondon, who has just become an adult and is now working put him. No! Nolan the miner has died of old age. Everyone's just dropping dead here. What's going on? Everyone's just dropping dead. It's so weird. And sad. Ah. Oh. It does mean we are one, mi one miner short. Which really sucks. Really, really sucks. Oh. But yeah. Our population is starting to age which is not a good thing. And, oh, Adeline. <gasps> no! Sasha the farmer has died of old age. Fred and the forester has died of old age. Everyone's just dropping dead here. What's going on? Why is everyone dying of old age? It sucks. It really does suck. And it's something you really have to pay attention to because it is so easy if you're not paying attention, to just have everyone start getting very, very old, and then their house is just filled with their own children, and those children won't have any more children, and then you end up with a situation like these guys right here, where you have 54, 59, and your kids are just kind of loitering around, and then no kids are getting born, and the population just kind of plummets, which is unfortunate. Uh, so you have to keep building more houses, you have to keep building, you have to keep growing. Oh. So, let us... I guess I should build one more house. Maybe right here. Hopefully. Because we are starting to run out of people. <laughs> There's so many people dying. And we have no one to replace them. Because all the kids... All the kids are not growing out of their houses because they have no place to live. Oh. Okay, let us build a road right in front. Wait, no, right there as well. 
There we go. No, no. Everyone is dying. Oh, Shishanda. Shishanda. Shishanda is dead. Noland is dead. Anning is dead. This episode, this entire session has just been people dying one after the other. <laughs> and it's sad. It is sad. When everyone is just dying. Everyone is just dying. Ugh. And I don't know how to counteract that. Because you can't counteract that. This is just old age. People are just getting old and then dying. Ugh. And we still need more wood for this one. But at least we have a house here being put up. Being built by a sense Yesence? Her name is Yesence. What kind of name is Yesence? <laughs> I don't know, but that's her name. I'm not going to complain. She's only 21 years old, and she is building this house all by herself because no one else is around to help her. Because the old guard of builders are all dead. Everyone's dead. I mean, how many people are left from the original founding families from 13 years ago? Henriette! Henriette the Miner has died of old age. Oh, no laborer available to replace Henriette. Again, even more death. Look at this. Our graveyard is starting to fill up. Ten of 64 graves filled. Not, it was at nine, now there's ten because our Tholomon, the Miner, has died of old age. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Look at this. And, wait a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing with that wheelbarrow? Did you just come out here with a wheelbarrow and dump someone out here? Is that how it works? You just dump them out in the cemetery and then... With a friggin' wheelbarrow? And that wheel... That's, that's disrespectful. Artholomon has been around for a long time. I mean, he died of old age, which means he's been around for a long time. Dumping him out in the cemetery with a wheelbarrow is not really what you want to do to your elders. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Adeline. Oh, poor old Adeline. If Adeline would die, her house would become available, and more people could move in and have more kids, which wouldn't be such a bad thing. I hate to say it. I really do. Adeline has been around for a long time. She was one of the founding members. She was right there in the beginning. Um, but she is kind of taking up space. She's just kind of taking up space. She's 78 years old and still going strong. Holy crap. Adeline. Ugh. But we, yeah, we definitely need to get more housing on the go. We need to get more people on the go. Oh. Definitely need more kids on the go. Otherwise, we are going to start running into a problem. I mean, look at this. We have ho one house with a 77 and 80 year old. Arid and Letter. What the hell? Her name is literally Letter. Her name is literally Letter. Holy crap. How very odd. I find that odd. And, yeah, I should probably leave it on building. Huh. But yeah, that's a real problem. <laughs> I started building all this stuff, and I do not have enough uh, people to really keep it going. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I don't have enough people to fill all the jobs that are now available. Oh, it sucks. I know it sucks. Oh, but we have more people on the way, more children being born. Oh, and waiting for people to die and vacate their houses just so we can have new people being born and moving into them. Oh, I hate to say that. I really do. Because, like I said, some of these people have been around since the beginning and I don't really want to watch them die. But they are are not really um, having any more kids. And if they're not having kids, then, yeah, that's not really a good thing. Because we need more kids to keep the population going. Oh. Oh. I hate that. 
I hate that we have to hope people die just so they can... Oh, here we go. Another merchant is showing up. Let's see if we can get anything from him. Uh, so, what merchant is this? Another bean seeds? Oh, beans. We don't need beans. Well, I guess I could. Uh, only still short, though. Because the bean... Holy crap. 31, 25. 30... Ah, oh, it's the same farmer. It's the same freaking trader. And it's the fact that we put in a buy order for it that... Just once. Holy crap. Just once. Oh, look at this. We put in an order for it, and as a result... He is overcharging us. I mean, the previous seeds were only 2,500. These are 3,125. What the hell? For just a bag of seeds. Just a bag of seeds. He wants that much for it. He wants, like, a few hundred hide coats for a bag of seeds. What kind of rip-off artist is this friggin' traitor? You greedy bastard. What is wrong with you? Ugh.